Hello wonderful friends, welcome back here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Today I would love to share with you our simple lunch. So come join with me as I'm going to show you the very basic ingredients that we have. Okay, I'm going to saute that using my uh, strips of ginger, chopped garlic, uh, green onions and tomatoes I have here also here my tanglad or my lemongrass that will give extra savor to our dish so I'm going to add some cooked green mung beans or mungos so I cook this one I boil this one so this is now softened ready to go so towards the end, I'll have to add my greens, which is the bok choy. So make sure you have to wash it thoroughly. To add extra savor, I'm going to um, put this or add this bulad or dried fish. This kind of fish is bisugo. <laughs> okay, salted fish. But if you don't have bulad or tuyo, dried uh, salted fish, you can always use fried fish at your own discretion at, or at your own choice my savory enhancer are very easy <laughs> these are very simple black pepper you can use white pepper you can also use salt i'm using sea salt and fish sauce or patties and i'm going to use this vegetable oil maybe four tablespoons of vegetable oil to saute my spices Okay, there you go, friends. So I'll have to add my luia or my ginger first. We'll saute this maybe for 20 seconds. There you go. So I'll have to add both of my garlic and green onions finely chopped green onions all together you can also use red cooking onions or the white cooking onions so whatever onions you want to use simply go ahead whatever makes you happy <laughs> okay remember friends that cooking and baking they're always make fun and easy here at my little kitchen my ultimate goal in my kitchen is simply for fun, sharing, and learning. It also gives you the idea on what to prepare for your family's next meal. So we will just saute this maybe for 30 or 40 seconds. Perfecto. So I am going to add my kamatis or tomatoes together with the lemongrass. The lemongrass will serve also and it gives uh, or it adds extra savoring into our dish. So what I did, I tried to make a nut out of this lemongrass and I tried to slip into four so that the oil essentials will greatly come out. So I'll have to add my black pepper. Adding salt and black pepper or any savoring enhancer, it depends upon your taste buds. You can always adjust if you think it's too salty for you or it depends upon if you have dietary restrictions. <laughs> okay, there you go friends. So it's about time for me to add my patis or fish sauce. If you run out of patis or fish sauce, you can always use salt and pepper. They're wonderful savoring enhancer and they're very, very natural. So I added patis approximately four tablespoons and also I will combine sea salt, maybe half a teaspoon. There you go.
Okay, beautiful. After that wonderful friends, I'm going to add my cooked mongos. So I'll make sure I will uh, put this lemongrass at the middle. <laughs> okay, there you go. I will be adding some of the water from the mongos that I boiled. There you go. Since the mungos or the green mung beans, it's cooked, fully cooked already, and so it's still very warm, okay? The process is very easy, so it will just get it done maybe for two minutes, but I have to cover this one. So wonderful friends, I covered it and set that aside for approximately two minutes until the spices are well combined together with our mungos and some other stuff out there and also um, it will be welted I mean all the spices will greatly combine into each other's company <laughs> I should say <laughs> okay wonderful friends come let's check <laughs> Okay, now it's about time that I'll have to add my bulad or my tuyo salted dried fish. But actually, this is not really very, very salty. So we'll just have this one uh, cooked for one minute. So I don't really need to cover. I'll just set aside my cover on that side. And the last but not the least ingredients that we have are the, this uh, green leaves, the bok choy. So make sure we have to wash our greens. So whatever greens you have, could it be malunggay or horseradish or kangkong, water spinach, alogbati or what we call malabar spinach, uh, whatever you want to add into your mungos. That's perfectly fine. Or kamuti taps. Or what we call udlut sa ka kamote. <laughs> so friends, I'll have to add my bok choy. You can even add pet chai or uh, Chinese napa cabbage. You have lots of choices of greens. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, I don't want that my greens will be overly cooked. So, it's about time that I'll have to turn it off my flame. Voila. So, wonderful friends. Thank you very much for watching La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. So, this is our very, very easy food <laughs> for today. This is our bulad. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, till the next time, and I hope that you will also find some time to make this for your family and friends, and for your co-workers, for your children. It depends upon the children if they're going to eat this kind of food, <laughs> because my son doesn't really like to eat this kind of food. He's very picky, unfortunately, but we try to teach him how to eat this kind of food, but I don't know. It's just about him <laughs> okay there you go wonderful friends stay tuned for the next uh, cooking and bakings i have here at my little kitchen bye for now i love you guys this is your home cook buddy la arnie saying you daghan king salamat maraming salamat po mga friends